Good morning. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to your to <laughs> I need a coffee. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elise. Hello. I hope you're happy. I hope you're well. Um, we have got a jam-packed weekend happening this weekend, so I thought I'll pick up my camera and take you guys along. I know you love to see it. We are um, just heading out to grab a coffee now. We're going to walk over to Chevron, take Rosie for a walk um, before we head out for the day. We're heading up to the Beanley show today. So we have a Gold Coast show. Um, it's very like ride, firework and show bag focused. The Beanley show I used to go to when I was younger. So this is it. Little bit about me. So my granddad was the uh, general manager of Tees Brothers Meat. So he flew all around the world um, for uh, meat exportation um, and they had their main office in Beanley. And part of the Beanley show is um, there's a huge like agri agricultural aspect to it. So a lot of um, cattle judging, dairy judging, um, goat judging, chicken judging, like all different varieties of, of chickens. Uh, miniature goats, budgies, like there's a whole kind of like a masses of animals there, as well as all the normal um, ride, show bag, kind of like, you know, food stalls, all that kind of stuff as well. So Izzy's really into animals and I saw that it was the 145th uh, Beanley show this year, um, 144th. So I said to Aaron, I would love to go again. I remember going as a child. Um, granddad would take the three of us, me, my brother and my sister, and it would just be so much fun looking at everything, looking at all the animals, going down kind of looking for all the chickens that had won and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to head up there today. It's about half an hour away, half an hour, 40 minutes away. Um, so we're going to take Rosie for a walk head up there to the show. I'll show you everything we see. Um, super Australian. There's like rodeo and stuff tonight. Um, and like sheepdog tri like trials and judging from 5 p.m. So it's super Aussie, I think, more so than the one that we get here on the Gold Coast. So we're going to head up there. And then um, this afternoon, my plan is to make some passion fruit bliss protein balls with you guys to have in the fridge for over the weekend. And then we are also, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of work tomorrow morning, hopefully, if Aaron can take Izzy out for the morning. And then tomorrow evening, we are heading to the Darcy Arms to catch up with some family that are back from Europe um, and have a, a roast there and live music and just have a really nice evening. And of course, I'll show you all of that as well. So, oh, we're busy, <laughs> we're so busy. Um, but yeah, some quality family time. Um, and yeah, some fun up. Hopefully it's as, I don't know if it's gonna be the same as I remember when I was a kid. Like I just remember being inside the big marquees and like all the animals were in there and like getting to see like all the different types of chicken and roosters and you know, which um, my granddad obviously loved because he was so passionate about livestock and livestock welfare and you know, all of that kind of stuff um, and treating them well and you know, so yeah it's gonna be good so i'm gonna take you along take you along for the weekend like i said um so first off we're heading out for a walk so let's get going we need a coffee do we need a coffee yeah. dad yeah <laughs> do you need a coffee dad yes yes <laughs> let's go rosie are you ready to go You okay, Izzy? Rosie, come. Come. Rosie. Rosie. <gasps> Good girl. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Coffee, Judy. <laughs> go, Rosie, go. Go, Rosie, go. There's baby goats in there. Oh, yeah, look at them. Oh, that might be the one they said was five days old. Let's go see some sheep. Let's do the goats first. Can you see them here? Oh, 
are out. We're going to see who the winner is. No, we're not going to take any. We walk around to it, why not? You got it. <laughs> Remember, tuck your chin in, Bing Boo. Okay. This is Giddy Pigger.
labelled that my work since I retired. I mean, that's Alrighty, so a little bit of a change of plans this afternoon. Um, Izzy fell asleep in the car on the way down, so I said to Aaron, do you mind if we go straight to Pacific Fair so that I can get my eyebrows done and get my nails done um, while she sleeps in the car with you? And he said, yeah, no problem, because I want to get them. I'm going to a, um, I've been invited to an event on Wednesday, which I'm so nervous and intimidated by. It's like an elite women in business soiree event um in surface and um i was reached out to on instagram and invited i'll put my instagram profile here on the screen for you if you don't follow me go and give me a follow um but yeah i want to like obviously look and feel my best so i said to aaron yeah i want to get my brows done i want to get my nails done so i've grabbed a coffee i grabbed a naked harvest protein bar um and i'm going to pop into sephora now and see if the girl um, that does my nails, Moo Moo, is there today. Um, hopefully she is. If not, I will come back on Monday or Tuesday and see if she is because I really like how she does them. Um, and then I'll pop down to my favorite nail bar and get them done there as well. But I'll show you what I choose and uh, maybe we'll have time to have a little bit of a look around the shops. We'll see how long she naps. Um, but yeah, let's get going to Sephora. Alrighty, so the girl Mimi that does my nails um, is not, I'm um, just my eyebrows is not there. So I am just going to give that a miss. They did have another girl there getting a lamination done. Um, so I don't, I think I'd have to wait for that to be finished anyway. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna have time. So I am just gonna get my nails done. I have professional nails. Um, I think they're the best. Um, so yeah, I'll show you. I'm, I'm gonna choose red, I already know. Um, I'll show you which color I get and I will catch up back with you after they're done this afternoon when we get home. We're gonna do a little bit of cooking, I think. Um, and we're gonna make some dinner at home as well. So I'll show you what we make. Um, and I think I am gonna have time to make those um, uh, passion fruit protein balls. So, or passion fruit bliss balls maybe, and I'll just add like a bit, a bit of protein to them because um, I want them to be delicious and I want Izzy to like them, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, let's go and choose a nail colour. Let's go and choose a shade of red. Did you wake up, Beanie Boo? Hey guys. Hey guys. Want some water? Want to go home? Have some real food. Change it as well. You what, sorry? I've got to cut it as well. It might have been in the car. Yeah, he's got the conversation. Alrighty, so kitchen clean prior to cooking. Course. you guys know what I'm like um, I'm feeling a little bit peckish actually welcome to my pantry um, so I am just going to make myself a little protein shake I did have a protein bar with my coffee when I got my nails done um, but we didn't eat any we didn't eat much today we got some veggie mite ciabatta on the way up from Zarafa's um, I've had some melon 
Um, I'm approaching but I'm still feeling a bit hungry before. I actually am going to start dinner now anyway. But I thought I'll just make a protein shake in the meantime. I'm going to make my bliss balls now as well. I'm probably just going to put some um, music over the top of this recipe and pop the recipe below for you rather than kind of talk you through it. Um, but I'll put also the full recipe on my Instagram. I'll put that here on the screen. If you're not following me, go and give me a follow. That's where I put most of my healthy cooking content. Um, so yeah, I'll pop you up. We'll cook those. I'll put a tune on. Um, and then we will make some dinner together. Um, with regards to protein, I am having my chocolate happy way. Um, it is my protein of choice. It has been for years. I am an ambassador with them. I'll put my link below. Um, that gets you some dollars off your first order. Um, and I appreciate the support if you do order with my referral code, um, with my referral link. It means so much. Thank you so, so much. Um, but yeah, I don't like their greens powder. For their greens powder, I use Naked Harvest, which you guys have seen in my video before. Um, I think that is the best tasting one. I pop their collagen in that as well. Um, but for, for protein, I do think Happy Way is the best tasting and the cleanest. And I have all their flavors. Let me show you. When I say that, I love them. I genuinely mean that. I love them. And um, there's no crap in them, so they're safe to give your kids as well. Um, all right, that's my opinion. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have that. We'll make these protein balls and we'll make some dinner. Um, and I'll catch you afterwards. Let's get cooking. Let's finish that protein shake and I realize that I do need to also make um, Izzy some new nice creams. I've put that recipe on this channel several times it's over on my instagram um, but basically yeah i make izzy's ice creams for her um because then it doesn't matter how many she has or when she has them or how often she has them um and also i can pack some extra nutrients and stuff in there with the happy way reds powder um goji berries and stuff that she wouldn't normally eat i can kind of sneak that all in with all the fruit so we're going to make them as well you'll see them i'm not going to bother putting the recipe um below on the screen it's all over my channel maybe i'll just link the video or link the um the instagram video that has that recipe but highly recommend doing that for your little one because then if she wants a couple of ice creams for breakfast in the summer it's just fruit and greek yogurt and all the good stuff and um yeah no guilt there no mum guilt so let's get cooking <laughs> all righty so a little change of plans we were going to make bliss balls um and do a little bit of cooking but izzy has asked for her dinner and she's asked for it in her lunchbox tonight. <laughs> so I've got some um, fresh corn, like organic tortillas here that I grab from Flannery's, um, which is an organic um, store that we have here on the Gold Coast. What I find is that when these are about to go out of date, they pop them in the freezer and mark them 20 or 40% off. So I always just go to the freezer um, and grab a packet and then I use them for Izzy's pizzas. I'm going to use the Valverde pizza sauce, um, no nasties, and then just put some cheese over to make her some margarita pizza. Um, and then in the little holes, other holes, I'm probably just going to put some blueberries and some corn, and that will be her sorted um, in the lunchbox as requested. So we'll do that and then we'll get cooking, I promise. It's going to happen. Rosie, you can't possibly be hungry when you had that big thing for lunch today. Hey. Okay. Alrighty, so tonight's toddler dinner. Margarita pizza on the corn tortillas. Um, blueberries, corn, and then I've put sultanas in there because if I leave that vacant, there will be words. Everything, everything needs to have something in it. Um, I've learnt that lesson, so I'll pop that down for her. Lunchbox dinner as requested, and we'll start cooking. Okay, so I've just blended up the, um, the passion fruit, protein passion fruit bliss balls. So I've put in um, a cup of rolled oats, about a cup and a half of desiccated coconut, a cup of almond meal, a tablespoon of coconut oil, four medjool dates, the ones that are nice and soft, half a cup of um, Happy Way flavorless protein and three quarters of a cup of passion fruit juice. 
super important that you strain the pips out. Um, so I let that sit for quite a while getting all the juice off that I could. Um, and I've just put the mixture in the fridge. Um, so I blended up, sorry, I blended up the almond meal, oats and coconut flour until it was kind of fudgy so that you've got a really nice texture added all the other ingredients, kept blending it, and I've just put the mixture in the fridge because it is quite sticky, and I wanna see if I cool it down a little bit, will it be easier to handle and roll, and then once they've been in the fridge overnight, they'll be firm, because I don't wanna make the mixture too dry um, because it won't be nice when you eat it. And then, while that's in the fridge, I'm going to start on dinner, um, and then make is these ice creams and get them in the freezer while dinner's cooking. So I've got some steak strips um, and where is the seat? Oh, I put it over here because I was filming for Instagram and I didn't want it in the camera. Um, so I've got the Zatar seasoning. So I'm going to season these snakes, uh, these steak strips and then we're going to do um, some wraps tonight. I've got lots of um, salad ingredients that I need to use up, so I'll make them super tasty. I might grill some halloumi as well and then um, get all of that sorted, make them. We've got a big football game on tonight here. Um, the Brisbane Broncos are playing the Warriors um, to get into the finals, so we'll be watching that, eating our steak wraps. So I'll show you how I do that. I'll show you how I roll the balls and we'll do some ice creams for Izzy and then we might call it a night with you guys and I'll pick back up tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, I'll show you kind of those balls coming together. And like I said, I'll put the recipe below. Um, this is also, this is from Mingle Seasoning. Actually, let me pop you down so I can like talk to you. So Mingle Seasoning is a brand that I absolutely love because they do, um, seasoning isn't so bad um, like sprinkle seasoning like this or herbs aren't so bad usually but you will find that somewhere it's like a a mixed seasoning they will add things like yeast extract with it which is msg and obviously we try to do additive and preservative free so we try not to add that into um, anything that we eat we avoid it um, so these guys are really great because they don't put any of that filler or any of that crap into their meal bases or their seasoning Often we just put this over um, so a halloumi and olive oil with this seasoning and do wraps, but I do have some steak tonight that I need to use up, so I'm going to do steak. Um, but yeah, highly recommend. I'm going to put a link to their website below because they do kind of starter packs um, where you get a selection of their seasoning. They do like oat crumble topping as well, like sweet seasonings, and their meal bases are amazing. Um, I highly recommend their stroganoff meal base. That is honestly, it's the best stroganoff meal base that I've ever had. We absolutely love it in this house. So I'll show you what that looks like when it comes together. Um, I'll show you how I roll those balls. And then, yeah, it will be time to watch the footy and switch off. I might even have a glass of wine tonight. We'll see. Um, Aaron will very likely be having a hard solo or a beer with the football because it is a massive game tonight. <laughs> See, so, yeah, I'll show you what this looks like. Alrighty, so I just wanted to show you, this is my little setup for dinner. I've got Diary of a CEO, latest episode on. I'm prepping the veggies and we're going to start cooking. It's going to be a crazy, crazy, crazy two or so weeks. Some amazing, amazing guests come on the podcast. To me, it's measured in terms of the conversations have. <laughs> and how people perceive food, how great the conversation Hello, Rosie Dog. How well we pack those conversations in Philippines. Mommy Bird, come here! <laughs> was that you? Yeah. <laughs> Mommy Bird! So when, when we hit 20 subscribers on YouTube, I'm going to take all of the team to Sweden. Here you go. In five years' time, you'll have a million subscribers. That's <laughs> 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 a fairy! But remember, we've always beat it. So, in seven months, you know what I mean? We've always beat it, so. Alrighty, so I am up to blending Izzy's smoothie. So in here, I have got, um, you'll see all the ingredients here. I have got frozen strawberries, some cherries, reds powder, um, some of the Happy Way protein water, which is grape, um, soy milk, maple syrup, um, and some Greek yogurt. I'm gonna blend that and put that into her little um, ice cream molds, which I've got here. And then we're going to start dinner.
Alrighty, so ready to go. So we've got our corn tortillas, lettuce, peppers, tomatoes, or capsicum tomatoes, alfalfa sprouts, our steak, onion, halloumi. We're gonna wrap it up and we are gonna watch the rugby. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna leave today here and pick up with you in the morning because we're gonna sit down, enjoy our food as a little family. Um, Izzy's already had, her, already had her dinner, but Aaron and I are gonna sit together and watch the rugby. And yeah, I will see you in the morning first thing, take you along for the day, take you to the Irish pub tomorrow for a bit of a dance and a Guinness. Um, so I'll catch you then. Yum, yum, yum. Alrighty, everyone. Hello. Happy Sunday. Um, did I already say hello this morning? I just go <laughs> straight into what I was making for breakfast. I'm not sure, but we are, as you can see, there's Surface Paradise. We are walking, it's Sunday evening now, we are walking um, to the Darcy Arms to have a roast and some Guinness and some cider and maybe a little bit of a jig and um, see our family a little bit of a catch up. Easy, we'll have a good play and a good dance. Um, and then that will be it for the weekend. So I'm going to, I guess, show you what we eat there. Um, you guys know already from one of my previous videos how good the Guinness is there, which is the main reason we go because Aaron misses having a good Guinness. So yeah, I just thought I'll check in. I um, obviously spent the afternoon at a pretty much, well, not the afternoon, pretty much the whole day at one of our local cafes, just getting a whole lot of work done. So I'm a little bit out of breath because we're pacing it because we're running late. So I think we're about four k's into our, four k's into our walk. Um, so yeah, so I spent, Aaron watch out. I um, spent the whole day catching up on everything that I needed to get done that I didn't get done during the week, but also getting a whole lot done um, so that I can have a really stress-free and successful week and just be in mum mode and not be worried about um, yeah my work to-do list while I'm mumming so I'll show you the rest of our walk there we'll just hit surface um, and I'll show you what we get up to and then I will say good night Izzy has not let go of the pepper pig that we won at the show yesterday it's definitely the new favorite <laughs> Ready, go! Holding on to? Have you, have you got a tight? You guys, it is. What time is it? Uh, it's 21:30. It's 9:30, and I'm going to be completely honest with you. I said to you that I was going to take you 
into the Irish pub and showed you everything that we ate and drank, but that didn't happen because we had roast pork, <laughs> had roast pork and chicken curry and, and chippies this way, Aaron. And, um, and actually we were just like in the moment with our family and just loving it. And Izzy was running around and playing and the live music was on and it was just a good time. So I didn't film it because I forgot to. <laughs> So yeah, that will be the end of today's video. Let me just swap hands so I can hold you and talk to you properly without affecting the camera because I'm just filming on my phone. If you are still here, I love you and I appreciate you so much. And every time I get a like on my video or every time I get a new subscriber, it means so much to me to be adding to what is my community that I'm building and it, I know that it's mums that feel the same that are going through the same things that experience the same things that are like stay at home mum five days a week small business owner five days a week and then they hit the weekends and it's just like all action all pack go 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 and then it gets to Monday and we start this roller coaster again so um if you haven't subscribed I would love to have you expect family content shopping content um days in the life all of the good stuff they're leaving without me so i better say goodbye um but yeah i will see you in the next video um the next video i'm actually working on it right now it's a bigger project than what i thought it was going to be um whether or not i get this up before whether i get it up before this video or the next it's just like a costco price comparison of like i think it's I don't know, 70 products, um, household products. And I'm doing like the price comparisons between the same like for like Coles, Woolworths, Costco. Anyway, it's a whole thing that's happening. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, your household budget and stuff like that, I'm all about that. Um, subscribe and yeah, I will leave you here. Hang on, let me get to the middle of the bridge before I say goodbye. So I can show you how amazing the view is in this beautiful city that I call home. You guys know I was back in London for like a decade and man oh man did I miss this. I will see you in the next video. Good night guys.